Welcome to the assembly of victors. You know, you are a victor in Christ Jesus. Kindly turn to the person seated closest to you. Now, this is it. If you're seated to, if you're a man and you're seated close to a, a woman, if you're a man, look for a woman. If you're a woman, look for a man. So turn to that person and tell that person, welcome to the assembly of the victorious ones. You are an overcomer in Jesus, in Christ Jesus. Welcome to the assembly of the victorious ones. You are an overcomer in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, you are a victor and overcomer in Christ Jesus. How would you behave in a fight, in a sea fight? If you knew your victory was guaranteed, how would you engage your opponent? Would you give up in the middle of the fight or would you stick to it irrespective of what your adversary throws at you? What would you do if you were engaged in a fight that you absolutely knew victory was guaranteed? Let's go to 1 John chapter 4, verse 4. And 1 John chapter 5, verse 4. Give me 1 John 4 in New King James Version and 1 John 5 in Amplified. Let's do this together. One to go. Let's read. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because... Don't read this part too quickly. You're speaking to yourself. So don't don't give it, don't make it a recital. Let's go together. You are of God, little children, and have overcome them because he who is in you is greater than he who is in the world. Give me first John 5 4 amplified. We read it together. For Whatever is born of God is victorious and overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has conquered and overcome the world. Our continuing persistent faith in Jesus, the Son of God. You are of God. That's what our first scripture says. That is the foundational statement of our lives in Christ Jesus. You are God begotten. I am God begotten. I am born of God. You are born of God. And everyone, King James says, whatsoever, whosoever rather, is born of God. Everyone born of God overcomes the world. Because you are born of God, you conquer the world, you subdue the world, you defeat the world, you triumph over the systems of this world. You prevail over the world. You are of God and have overcome. Why? Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. And who is in you? The chief overcomer himself. Christ Jesus our Lord. Our union with Christ who has already overcome makes us all overcomers. So I ask again how would you engage your opponent in a fight if you knew victory was guaranteed? Our second scripture in that first John 5 says, our continuing persistent faith in Jesus Christ is the power we have to continually conquer the systems of this world. If you knew victory was guaranteed, would you stay in the fight or would you throw in the towel? Last week, God came and awoke us and said, we are mighty acts. We are his battle acts. What we were not told then was that the battle will be stiff. And so today he's asking you, if you knew and you understood that victory was guaranteed, how will you fight the battle you are currently fighting? Because each and every one of us are currently fighting a battle. The question I heard while I was preparing for this ministry was, when the Son of Man comes, 
will he find first on the earth? Because some of us give up too soon. We say God doesn't come through, but God does come through. And he comes through quickly. But when he does come, will, you meet, will he meet you in the fight? Or would you have already thrown in the towel? Because it, it looked too difficult. You may be currently fighting for your health. You may be fighting for your life. You may be fighting for your children. You, they, your fight may be for your marriage. You may even be fighting to answer your name. Because there is a name we are called. And you're not going to answer it by just strolling through life. So we are all engaging in one fight. Some of us are fighting to survive. Some are fighting to thrive. Others are fighting to become. If you knew victory was already yours, how would you engage the enemy? Because it's time to employ faith. You see, in any serious warfare, the key strategy of the enemy is to make us to forsake our faith. To cause us to walk by sight, to walk by how we feel, to walk by what we see, to walk by what we hear. And the moment you and I step on that turf, we hand the devil the win because you have left your place of dominion. Our strong faith in the midst of trials, in the midst of difficulties, is a fear, is a, is a power, is a victory you and I have over the enemy. The steadfast faith we have in God is the victorious power we have to triumph in whatever circumstance you currently find yourself. Some of us have already gone through our own share of the water and the fire. Some of us are currently in our water and our fire. Wherever you may be, God says you are an overcomer. So victory is already guaranteed. That water will not drown you. That fire will not consume you. Why? He that is in you is greater than he that is in that water. Is greater than he that is in that fire. So if currently you're fighting the fight for your health, you're trying to stay alive, know this, he that is in you is greater than cancer. And until you are awake, as a soldier and begin to use the word of God to confront things you keep staying where God has not kept you and you will blame God Proverbs 19.3 says it's a foolish man that destroys his past and turns around to blame his creator ignorance is foolishness he that is in you is greater than dementia is bigger than arthritis is bigger than cancer is bigger than that thing that is trying to reduce you and keep you small is bigger than whatever has sworn to keep your family small is bigger than what is keeping the, the destinies of the men and women in your neighborhood in a cage so you walk into a neighborhood you pack into a neighborhood and you begin to resemble the people of that neighborhood because you have, over, you have forgotten that you are an overcomer your case is different you are not part of this world even though you are in the world so if you knew victory was guaranteed how would you live life if you knew you had victory in your pocket how will you engage the enemy if you knew that before God he calls you an overcomer how will you walk how will you talk how will you act he that is in you is greater than he that in what he is in whatever situation is currently keeping you small. And until we are awakened to that understanding, we'll, we'll keep playing safe. We'll keep tiptoeing around life. We'll keep eating peanuts from the hand of the world. Can you imagine what's happening to the church, to the greatest organization on earth? The custodian of power is going to the world to ask how do I live? When they should be coming to us to ask, how is it that you are flourishing when we are going down? You are born of God. That is why you can confidently believe when he says you have overcome because you are one with me who has overcome. You are victorious already and you overcome the world. So begin to think like an overcomer. Act like an overcomer. Stay persistent in prayer. Persistent in seeking justice and resilience no matter what. Don't throw in the towel. Stick to your race until you reach the end. You have to stay in the race to win the race. 
get rid of that defeatist mindset. You are not a victim. You are a victor. You are divinely empowered to be unrivaled, unequaled, and unparalleled. It is not a cliche. It is your reality. You are more than any match. You are more than a match for any foe. You were wired to prevail over difficulties. So stop counting yourselves among those that are in the world like that is where you belong. Say, oh, see how things are. Mind your language. You are not part of it. Even if it may look like it, use your word and speak yourself out of it. Plan for tomorrow like what you've already ex you're expecting today is already done because victory is guaranteed. And no matter how many times you are pulled down, pick yourself back up and run to the finish line. Until you hear the final whistle, don't stop pushing. Until you hear the final whistle, don't stop believing. Until you hear the final whistle, don't stop expecting. Until you hear the final whistle, don't stop acting. Keep pressing, keep believing. The crown is reserved for only those who overcome. And in Christ Jesus, you and I that are in Christ Jesus are already called overcomers. If that sounds like you, would you stand up and let's affirm the word of God together this morning. Say with me, I am an overcomer. I am born of God. My victory in every battle is guaranteed. I am one with the one who has overcome. He that is in me is greater than he that is in the world. I am more than a conqueror. In Christ Jesus, I have defeated the systems of this world. the finishing line my story will reveal the majesty of the father and draw nations to the kingdom I am a victor in Christ Jesus I am victorious over the world I am a person who prevails over difficulties I am wired to surmount obstacles divinely empowered to break through and defy all odds. I am an overcomer. I will stay in the fight until the final whistle blows. I will not lose heart. I will not give up on my race. I will not lose my faith. I will not lose my joy. I will not empower the devil with my words. I will hold fast unto my confession of faith without wavering. For in all these things, I know that overwhelming victory is mine. I, Lene Patrick Grace, am an overcomer. Open your mouth and begin to declare, I am an overcomer. This week is different for me because the chief overcomer walks with me. I shall not die but live to praise God. I am an overcomer. My life is an offering of worship to God. I am an overcomer. He that is in me is greater than cancer. He that is in me is greater than poverty. He that is in me is greater than sicknesses and diseases. I am an overcomer. I am triumphant over every evil and over every opposing influence. I am an overcomer. Jesus has made me an overcomer. My case is different. When men say that there is a 
casting down, I will proclaim there is a lifting up. For I am an overcomer. My case is different. He that lives in me is greater than he that lives in any situation. I have overcome. 